Greetings, friends. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. We come together again around the sacred fire of the group heart. Twenty twenty five initiative and the Hekal group welcome you to our group space for the Jerusalem meditation. Greetings, friends. In the Jerusalem Meditation Project, we work with the higher potential of Jerusalem for both local and planetary use. Um, and this work is a process of many years. Our core group meets every Monday and once a month at the time of the new moon, we meet as a larger group. Over the years, our focus and our meditation outline evolves. And it evolves through our growing perceptions and sharing our perceptions. It's a continual group weaving. The painting, can we have the painting of Jerusalem? Yes, this painting from a Palestinian artist, which uh, unfortunately we cannot find her name, um, is a good, it captures something of the quality of our work. We see on this painting symbols of the three Abrahamic religions and the peace bird, the dove, and an interweaving of nature and culture, which is a beautiful ideal to strive for, which gives a bit of a, of a taste of uh, the potential of Jerusalem, the promise that it holds. And our group weaving is a bit like this stream of flowers that's floating over the city. So through our perceptions and our meditative work, we pick up qualities from below, from what's there. And we also weave in a finer fabric or a fine fabric into the aura of Jerusalem. So as part of this continual weaving, we want to bring into our field today some of your, your reflections from the meeting last month and also including some of the beautiful written sharings we have received from you. Thank you very much for them. There is a depth, depth, a depth of inquiry in the group which has a magical flavor. So let us just listen to a few delicacies and enjoy their flavor. The heart responds to Jerusalem. Jerusalem is felt like a magnetic force field, as if there is a, a magnet above and one below the city. a swirling vortex, an energy of disturbance, which creates an extraordinary opening. In 
In this energy field, there is the opportunity for the purity of love and the will to love to enter into the vaster field. Through our invocative demand, hierarchy is able to precipitate a beautiful energy into Jerusalem and through into the whole world. A cauldron filled with a golden energy being heated by the will. A fulcrum, a tipping point through which the new world religion can emerge. A timeline continuum between the ancient and the new world and a space line continuum between the east and the west. The new temple of humanity can be glimpsed above Jerusalem, the city of peace on the Buddhic plain. And by perceiving and living it together, we are substantiating it and making it appear on the etheric plane. And in support of this last reflection, there is a pertinent quote from the Tibetan short one. A temple is a group of souls gathered together to work out the purposes of deity. This month, at this new moon, we have the energy of Aquarius, which can support our telepathic buddhic perception and our etheric livingness. So let us ride on this energy in our meditation. can help us to perceive a glimpse of the temple of humanity and to meditate it into etheric existence. As part of this weaving, this process of sanctifying the etheric body of the planet. Okay, so let us prepare for meditation. Breathing deeply. Getting in touch with our bodies. Resting in the stillness of our heart in the embrace of the mother of the world.
bringing our mind now into a focus in the center of the head. Standing as the incarnated soul, radiant. Turning our attention now to Jerusalem. Becoming aware of an outpost of love and light and the will to good somewhere within the aura of Jerusalem. And let us meet there. And as we enter this outpost, sense its force field. Allowing our hearts to come into resonance with the group heart. This magnetism, magnetic field. And allowing our minds to tune into the group mind, into this telepathic field. We stand together as a group of souls gathered to work out the purposes of deity. As a group, as a point of spiritual energy, we are part of the great network of world servers. I just take a moment to recognize, to take note of all these focal points of spiritual activity, radiating and interacting planet-wide. Let us affirm the existence, the function of the new group of world servers. Stepping into its role.
and as part of it, tuning now into the field of higher vibration, which is held by the spiritual guides of our planet. Noticing how it interweaves with the network of world workers. All these subtle etheric threads, threads of light and fine quality Allow our minds and our hearts to expand into the higher vibration. Fine tuning now with the Ashramic co workers who support and guide this Jerusalem project. Specific note of these Ashramic co workers that has set up resonance as a group with them. And within their aura, let us open our consciousness now to the divine plan and Jerusalem's part in it.
Turning our awareness now to the golden potent energy flowing through this vortex of Jerusalem. The quality of it, the will to love. Refocusing now in our group at the midway point between the higher world and Jerusalem below. Bringing the high vibration with us settling into the group field. Bundling it with our united hearts and minds, holding it in suspense at a point of tension. This golden living healing substance. And now, by an act of slow concentration and will, see this golden vibration pour forth into the aura of Jerusalem. Streaming forth. See angelic beings, golden devas, building with us this high vibration into the aura of Jerusalem. See these fine threads being woven in geometrical order. See the trees helping to ground this high vibration into the earth. See the light in the heavens meet with the light in the earth. As above, so below.
see the aura of Jerusalem glow with warm golden light. Visualize the hearts of the citizens respond to this light, slowly swinging into this higher order. A higher order which is grounded in the sacredness of each person and the oneness of humanity. By visualizing this, we meditate it into existence. Imagine the city calling out for oneness. The souls of all are one and I am one with them. I seek to love not hate. I seek to serve and not exact due service. I seek to heal, not hurt. Let pain bring due reward of light and love. Let the soul control the outer form and life and all events and bring to light the love which underlies the happenings of the time. Let vision come and inside. Let the future stand revealed. Let the future stand revealed. Let inner union demonstrate and outer cleavages be gone. Let love prevail. Let all humans love. See a golden wave now, a wave of the will to love spread out into the whole area of Israel, Palestine. Filling the whole area, reordering into right relations. And spreading out further into the entire Middle East. A web of right relations. A new blueprint. Spreading into Asia. See a thread of light connecting Jerusalem with Darjeeling. Sense the interchange, the interaction between Jerusalem and Darjeeling.
Let us see the unifying wave pour through Asia, linking into Tokyo. Spreading further east over the ocean to America, to America. Linking into New York. And further east to Europe, linking into London and into Geneva. Spreading further out all over the world and back to Jerusalem. Let us visualize this wave of the will to love, the will to unity, flowing over the earth. As we recite the great invocation in Hebrew, Arabic, and English. נקודת האור אשר בדת אל, יזרום האור אל דת האדם, ירד האור על פני האדמה. מנקודת האהבה אשר בלב האל, תזרום האהבה אל לבבות אנוש, ישוב מורה עולם על פני האדמה. מן המרכז שבו נודע רצון האל, תנחה תכלית את רצונות אדם, תכלית אותה מורי האנושות יודעים ומשרתים. מן המרכז אשר נקרא המין האנושי, שם תוכנית האהבה והאור ויחתם הפתח אל הרע. יהי רצון ויחדשו אור, אהבה ועוצמה את התוכנית על פני האדמה. من نقطة الحب في القلب الإلهي ليتسرب الحب إلى قلوب الناس وليرجع السيد الآتي إلى الأرض من المركز الذي تعرف منها إرادة الله لتقود الغاية إرادة الناس البسيطة تلك الغاية التي يدركها المعلمون ويخدمونها من المركز الذي نضم بالجنس البشري لينتج تسمين الحب والنور ويختم على الباب الذي يقيم به الشر ليجدد النور والحب والقوة التسمين على الأرض From the point of light within the mind of God, let light stream forth into the minds of men. Let light descend on earth.
from the point of love within the heart of God. Let love stream forth into the hearts of men. May Christ return to earth. From the center where the will of God is known, let purpose guide the little wills of men, the purpose which the masters know and serve. From the center, which we call the race of men, let the plan of love and light work out, and may it seal the door where evil dwells. Let light and love and power restore the plan on earth. Hi, good evening. This is Efrat from Jerusalem. Thank you, Uta, for this beautiful meditation, and thank you all. I would like to share a few points from the impression from my meditation. Um, I I had a sense that the uh, the co-worker that work with us from, from the ashrams uh, don't have their own agenda, but they are there to, to help us to create like a special place that we can uh, adjust the energy from below before we go up and from up when we go back down it was very powerful sensation and uh, in this special point where the the divine plane the the special place or special mission or special purpose of jerusalem what came up to me is that uh, for hundred maybe thousands of years Jerusalem hold um, a unique structure with its holiness and, and um, all these uh, values for all the religious and all the for all, all humanity and now it's the place that from Jerusalem the transformation must go out transformation from structure to a spirit from 
like in this beautiful picture from wall made of stones, maybe to wall made of flowers and light. Um, and be maybe because I live in Jerusalem, it was such a wonderful experience to really to sense this possibility to let go of all this heaviness and transform to something much more high and delicate. Thank you. Thanks, Efrat. It's, it's feelable what you describe. Beautiful. Hello everyone. So in this wonderful, powerfully flowing meditation today, I saw the different levels, a bit similar to the levels on the Jerusalem picture on the screen, flowing together. And I have experienced in particular a deep opening in the depths and a golden radiant light emerged deep in the earth beneath Jerusalem. The meeting of its energy and light with the light in the heaven created waves that spread out in circles over the whole country. So I experienced a very powerful female primal energy and the importance, perhaps a little bit similar than Ephrat said, to give on this energy to the world now. So thank you very much. Annette, how were these circles over Jerusalem? Can you describe a bit more? Yeah, the, the circle, this was when you put a stone into a water. Oh, yeah. So mm -hmm. this, it was like waves of this, um, yes. Okay. Hi, this is Helen, another voice from Jerusalem. Um, meditation is very rich for me. Um, I would like just to share one impression that I had about uh, Jerusalem parts in the divine plan. Um, I saw it like a, a golden point in, uh, in the clouds of knowable things, like a, a kind of symbol or prototype of uh, right relations that cries out to be attained and achieved by humanity in its whole. And uh, in uh, my, uh, uh, the way I conceive it, you know, Jerusalem represents that, a uh, crying out of right mm -hmm. relations. Wow. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's as if this cry of, of Jerusalem is helping the world also to come into this 
to join into this intent of right relations. Yeah. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, Mark. This is Mark from Sarasota, Florida. I'm very moved by what we are doing. I could immediately feel the energy in the room and expanding outward into our neighborhood from our meditation. The feeling is that the masters are very happy about what we are doing, holding the space, collaborating with them, and really linking the new group of world servers, the light workers, and others held by other names around the world are being very blessed by what we are doing. And also, it is something like the concentric circles that. Uh, have been described by Aneta and others. And following up on the comments of the people about Jerusalem, it was very moving, also the importance. What we are doing is activating the divine blueprint that was created from its beginning, the beginning of Jerusalem. And it's now being cleared away so that the Middle East can really sense this this wholeness and this unity being born and the world can authentically from more of a distance see it and feel it and feel this victory being won and the divine feminine when annette mentioned that really resonates with me also that through jerusalem peace in the world is being born again from the womb of earthly peace in Jerusalem. So I see that Jerusalem is really the womb of earthly peace uh, for the world. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mark. Divine Feminine, so interesting, huh? Jerusalem. It's not really a soft place on the ground, <laughs> but uh, this divine feminine energy wants to come through. Yeah. Yeah. It's beautiful. I just make one comment about that is that when we're there, we can see that the women of the various religions easily get together much more easily than the men. We can see it on the ground. Yeah. Okay, can we, would like to invite also um, your comments, dear participants. See that Daisha has a has a hand up. Thank you, Ruta. So for me, to, I'm Daisha from Canada. So for me today, there was a strong auditory, maybe clear audient element. So the golden light of the auric field of Jerusalem had a very clear tone. It was like a tuning fork resonating from magnetic point to magnetic point that was mentioned in the comments that you read at the start of our time here together. And this giant tuning fork was tuning us in resonance with it. And we, as we gathered from around the world for this meditation, were tuning it in turn. Hmm. Then you called on the angelic forces 
it added this beautiful higher vibration just rounding out the note by bringing in as a clear fine sound and as each of the planetary inlets were called in turn that sound that resonant vibration moved around the world and touched the, the little tuning forks of humanity who are um what's the right word susceptible um in tune with tunable huh. So it was a sense of the color becoming sound and the sound spreading out with the unifying strong quality. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Thank you, Desha this reciprocity that we are both being tuned and tuning. Beautiful. Now go. Thank you, Uda. The sense that the impression that registered was a net of threads, of golden threads. And where these threads intersected, each intersection was um, a vortex of, of power and, and similar to Daisha's impression that this, at each of these intersecting points, a sound was emitted. Hmm. And the as we tune to this sound, as we register this sound, we are sounding it forth in the manifest world. Hmm. Hmm. We're becoming more sensitive, more perceptive to these finer qualities, both in terms of in, in visual and auditory. I resonate with what Daisha and Margo just shared. And I, th I think that the note of that tuning fork is the note that we together 
learning to hear and that's the note of that place where we are called together uh, it's that that quote that you would uh, read about the temple mm -hmm. can, can you read it again please yes um... A temple is a group of souls gathered together to work out the purposes of deity. So it's, yeah, we, we gathered and we learn together to listen to that purpose of deity and uh, the, the tuning uh, tuning fork and uh, as we meditated there was a uh, sense that this place where we are learning to tune into working as a group is the level of buddhi and it's the place where the temple is, the real temple is created. And uh, it's a place where we as a group are expected to learn to function. <laughs> and that's where the kingdom of heaven is there. And so it's that with Jerusalem being you know, the magnet for so many generations of us and for millennia is that where is this promised land but but it's 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 that place where that note of deity is heard it's that booty it's always sounds there and yes as we learn to function there we become in that those radiance forks ourselves if we learn to sound from there and it's difficult to put in the words because it's that quality it's not the quality easily expressed in words is that more the quality of that we hear from through silence mm -hmm. yeah and we can do it when we when we tune also to each other we can do it together we can be yeah when we stand together as souls mm -hmm. we can become this temple and uh, and then we are like a how you call that a chamber, a resonance chamber, I think you say in English. And just the Tibetan said, uh, a field, a telepathic field on which the higher forces can play. So we are a sounding board. Mm.
Thank you for all these beautiful, deep reflections. If there are any more that you would like to share in writing, we are always very grateful, especially for the written ones that have a, a special depth. I will okay. uh, switch mm -hmm. Chile and share it with us um, uh, in writing. Thank you for this lovely meditation. I sense that there is a growing will for peace in the Middle East and that it will may come from Jerusalem. With the nearing of hierarchy and the new age, peace will prevail and the golden light of peace will spread throughout the world. Jerusalem will hold a special place. Thank you and apologies for the mix-up in posting. Hmm. Thank you, Julian. Beautiful co work. Thank you, everyone. Blessings, new moon blessings, and let's meet together again next month. <laughs>